Hello everyone. This video we're going to talk about the wireless bird box cameras and Wi-Fi bird box cameras. We might be confused because we already assumed they're, these two are kind of the same thing, but actually it's not. When we say wireless bird box cameras, mostly we mean the analog ones and the analog bird box cameras because wireless sometimes means, you know, like our phones, zero wireless, our radio, zero wireless, so it's like analog and radio signals. When it comes to a Wi-Fi bird box camera, we're talking about digital signals now. What's the good part about digital signals? We can just access it with another digital device. So it's like all the data goes up to the internet so we can access with something else. These two cameras are the same in a lot of ways. You know, we can all plant them inside the bird box camera and watch birds closely without interfering with the birds. So now let's talk about something that's different about them. First, we're going to talk about the working principles. Well, we can see that the analog camera here, it has an antenna, so it's transmitted the analog signals wirelessly. So that, in that case, we're going to need a receiver here to receive the transmitted signal. Then it will like decode into digital signals, then we can restore it or access it on you know, some mobile devices. It's kind of complicated because it requires so much extra devices. While the Wi-Fi bird box camera right here, it records all in digital signals and digital signals when it uploads, we can access it easily by using, you know, a mobile device, a smartphone, something like that and go on our app and just access it easily. Now let's look at the quality of their images. So an analog, an analog uh, bird box camera, the signal's analog, and analog is like a frequency transmitting this, this data. Well, you know that a frequency can only carry that much data on it, so sometimes to keep make sure that the image is whole, we can't really make it too detailed. Well, the Wi-Fi bird box camera here, it transmits the signal in a digital form and all in ones and zeros. So using a binary, it can kind of like break up the image frame by frame into very, very small pixels. In that way, the image can be very detailed and it's gonna make a higher resolution for us to watch. So we can say that, you know, the Wi-Fi bird box camera provides a better image and better experience for us. Now let's take a look at the audio feature. Well, there are microphones built in both cameras they all use to capture the tweets of the birds but the analog transmits this audio and the video separately so you know whenever sometimes one gets interfered and it doesn't transmit that successfully the image and the sound will lose sync and it will be kind of weird because we're hearing but we're we're hearing a sound but the video the image is not matching up well you know in the Wi-Fi bird box camera Everything's transmitted through ones and zeros. They're all matching, going together. So like going in the same way. So even there, if there's a lag or a data loss, it happens together. So there won't be too much, you know, out of sync options. So yeah, the Wi-Fi bird box camera can provide better experience. Also, the Wi-Fi bird box camera provides more advanced features. You can see the four dots right here. These are infrared LEDs. They can help us watch the birds even if it's dark around. And don't worry, not like the regular infrareds we use daily. They have like red little dots when it's dark. These are used in special wavelengths, specially designed to not spook the birds. So it's very barely visible. We can't really see it in the dark, so, so can the birds. And also it has adjustable lenses. We can adjust its focal length. So whenever we change directions, change positions, we can always adjust the lens to make the image clear again. So yeah, that's pretty much it for today. So thank you guys for watching. If you have any more questions or comments, please leave them at the section below. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.